Guys, what's going on is one king. I do appreciate y'all more than y'all know. Thank y'all for sliding back through for another video, guys. Real quick, we still up, man. God is good to each and every one of us, man. Look, um, <laughs> I had somebody pop in on one of my videos, man, and left a comment. Get in their feelings, bro, because I called Kamala Camel Toe, okay? They got in their feelings about it, talking about they lost respect for me. Allegedly, this is one of my long-term subscribers. Uh, and, you know, I bid them a farewell because they said they was out. They don't want to have no more dealings with my channel. And that's cool, man. Look, everybody's got their own opinion on everything. But, look, I don't understand why so many people are so soft. Not all y'all. A lot of people are so dang on soft when it comes to the Democratic Party. <laughs> And uh, I just think in America in general, man, a lot of people have just become soft. A lot of people uh, don't like hearing the truth. A lot of people, um, crabs in a bucket, sheep, whatever you want to call them, man. I mean, I think everybody has the freedom to think for themselves, but a lot of people would like to think for you, okay? That's the problem that we have here in America. A lot of people want to do the thinking for you, and we know how media is. If y'all know how media works, then y'all understand what I'm talking about. The radio, TV, uh, uh, online, the internet, all that good stuff. But anyway, uh, the purpose of this video, I just thought that was funny, man. This dude really got in his feelings. I just thought that was funny. But anyway, I want America to be great again. Now, here's my thing. Trump 2024. That's the first thing I'm going to start off with saying. And the thing is, you don't, look, you don't hear Trump supporters Getting all in their feelings and getting their panties in a bunch. You see what I'm saying? When y'all talk crazy about Trump, don't nobody, don't nobody get all sensitive. Because at the end of the day, it's your personal preference. It's, it, 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 it's your belief. It's what you believe in. What policies do you like best? Trump's or Harris's? But the reason why I'm messing with Trump, because I go back to 2016 through 2020. And I think of how my life was. I, I remember how my life was when Trump was president. I remember I had extra cash in the bank. I'm telling you, bro, like, my money really didn't change, to be honest. You know, I started working somewhere different, you know, but I was pretty much capped in what I was doing for a living. You know, being at, uh, being at the last job I was at for so long, for over a decade. You know, um, I was pretty much capped, but I ended up going somewhere else and, uh, you know, pretty much made the same amount of money. And my, y'all you, you know what's going on in the economy, man. A dollar ain't going that far, right? But going back to 2016 to 2020, I paid for everything, and I still had a chunk of money left. When everything was paid for, when gas was in the car, when food was in the fridge, mortgage was paid, everything, there was still a chunk of money left. Chunk of money left, and it wasn't even just the money, dude. Just the atmosphere just felt better. Uh, uh, it wasn't no, it wasn't a bunch of wars and stuff going on, man. I remember uh, Trump was getting people back home from the wars, you know, and the people that are that are serving and stuff like that, getting them back home to their families and stuff, man. The, the, I, what I remember, life was just so much more peaceful. Life was so much more easy, you know. The people, even the people, you know, you come out into the world and you see every single day, and you interact with every single day. They were just much more pleasant to be around. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, bro, it's like a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here. Which brings me to my point of Camel Harris, okay? If y'all don't like that, then that's not my problem that y'all don't like that. I can't help it that I want to put a little bit of humor in my talking points, all right? Uh, almost four years in office as vice president, right? She's got power to make stuff happen, just like Biden did. What changed? What changed? And if y'all, for those of y'all that's going to say, oh, well, she's the vice president. She don't have any power because somebody else in my comment says something similar to that as well. She doesn't have any rights to do this and do that. There's a video surfacing on the Internet. And if any of y'all can find it, I'm going to leave my email address in the uh, description, in the, in, in the description box below. So I'm leaving my, my, my business email address in there and y'all can send me the video. Okay, because I know it's somewhere on the internet, or you can go look for it and just go watch it yourself. You ain't even got to send it to me. I don't even know why I said that. Uh, and Biden said himself that he had delegated tasks, right? 
to Kamala Harris for her to get done, for her to complete. And one of them was securing the borders. And y'all already know what's going on with the migrant crisis. Y'all already know that thing just went poof, out of control. Like, boom, out of control. It's ridiculous, man. Okay? And uh, when I think about how the world is now, and how the world was the last four years under the Biden and the Harris administration versus Trump. Man, it's night and day. It's night and day. And like I said, Harris had the power to make moves and make things happen while she was vice president. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing happened. So what? what's going to make me think that all of a sudden now when she becomes president and there's another four years that something's going to be different? What's going to make me think that something's going to be different? It ain't nothing been different yet. And she had the power to make something happen. That's just my take on it, man. Look, I don't see nothing changing if Harris take office. You know what I'm saying? I don't see nothing changing. I only see things probably getting worse than what they already are. Okay? Trump, I see things moving upward for the better. I see us going in a different direction, a better direction. Uh, and I understand that things ain't going to change overnight. I understand that. I completely understand that. But we need to start going back on the up and up. We need to go back in a different direction because this ain't it. This ain't what's going on, man. Uh, uh, it's just it's, it's ridiculous, man, when people can't even really come out here and afford nothing. After you pay your mortgage, you try to put a little bit of food in the house and put gas in the car. And, it, it, like, you could barely do that. Most people can barely do that, bro. But it's like, once you do that, you're done. You're finished. There ain't nothing left. What's the purpose? What's the purpose? What's the purpose, man? Come on. It's ridiculous. But that's my take on it, man. That's what I think. That's how I feel about it. Like I said, this ain't to knock nobody or bash nobody's opinion. No political views or how they feel or whatever. Look, you entitled to your own opinion. But I would love to hear what y'all think. Leave it in the comments. Let me know, man. Leave a like. If y'all enjoyed the video, man, share this as well. Um, I do, man, hope each and every one of y'all, man, take care of yourselves and take care of y'all peoples, man, to the greatest, greatest magnitude. And uh, I do hope that every one of y'all, man, um, do well in life. You know, I really mean that. Um, y'all make sure y'all look out for each other, man, because it's getting crazy out here. It's crazy times we're living in. But y'all take care of yourselves, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.